Hi, I'm Saisha Shinde. I am a proud trans woman and uh, I'm getting my FFS, which is my facial feminization surgeries from designer bodies and the genius Dr. Parak Taylor. <laughs> How did you hear about Dr. Parag and what made you choose designer body and Dr. Parag as your uh, surgeon? You know, I'm going to be very honest here. As uh, a trans woman, you do a lot of research. You, you want to, of course, um, go to the best, go to the safest. And there is this preconceived notion that if you go to the West, if you go abroad, you're safe, your surgeries will be taken care of well. And that was my preconceived notion as well. Till when I started doing my research, I came across Instagram and his profile. And I saw that there is not only a lot of conversation about uh, transition surgeries, but a dedicated Instagram page as well. That made me um, sort of see him and designer bodies with a lot of confidence that they know what they're talking about because they're specializing in something like this. Then I did my research by asking my industry friends and everyone had really good things to say. So that's how designer bodies came in my life. What are the surgeries that you decided to get and why did you uh, opt to get uh, facial feminization done? Um, like I said before, you know, when I realized that these surgeries can be done in India itself uh, from a place which is a safe haven, like when I came here for my first consultation as well i felt safe i didn't feel like i'm attacked i didn't feel like there is 10000 eyes on me questioning me so having that safe place in itself was a big boost which is why this will be my third surgery that i'm doing here uh, i had my body contouring surgeries done here and i had my upper body done last and now i'm doing my face as well so it's very important for me to talk about this because ये जो प्रीकंसीव्ड नोशन है कि आउट ऑफ इंडिया जाके ही सर्जरी अच्छी होगी तो उन्हें मिटानी पड़ेगी बिकॉज यू गॉट सच अमेजिंग एबल डॉक्टर्स योर एंड दे आर इन योर सिटी इफ एनीथिंग कैन गो रॉन्ग दे दे देर यू नो दे नॉट बैंकॉक और एल ए विच इज कंसिडर्ड यू नो द टॉप नॉच ऑफ ऑफ फेशियल फेमिनाइजेशन सर्जरीज बट इट्स नॉट द केस ऑनेस्टली एंड After seeing the, the the before and afters on on designer bodies Insta page, I realized that you know these are all such uh, sad uh, myths that need to be broken. That we can do all these surgeries here because not everyone can afford an LA doctor, not everyone can afford a Turkish doctor. You can get the same product, the same surgeries with the same quality, with the same sort of safe space. Yeah. Okay. Hi Saisha. Hi. How are you feeling right now? I'm sleepy. You're sleepy. Okay. Well, I'm excited because I'm I'm also honestly for the first time slightly nervous because uh, this is the last time I'm going to see this face, okay. and it's going to be a new face once I get out after the surgery. So I'm a bit anxious. Hello. Hi. Good morning. What's Good morning. it for the big day? Yes, we fast and so sleepy. <laughs> I just want to. I was just like mentioning that I'm. Uh, you know, it's the first time I. The last time I'm going to see sure. this face. Of course. So But that's what you want. Yeah, I do. So, so you remember what we discussed. So with the pen, I'm going to do some markings on yeah. the face with you. I forgot to ask you. Are we doing the Adam Apple also? Yeah. 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 Okay. So we we'll start with the hairline. So I mark the new hairline for you, so this receding will be gone. Uh -huh. Then from where the frontal bone is going to be uh, contoured, then the brow bones, then the cat eye, the nose, and that will happen. Everything I mark for you. Cool. Okay. So you yeah. can see in the mirror, you can understand exactly what is going to be done. And the nose cutting, as for the nose, yeah. Perfect. Nose. Yeah. 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 All set. Uh, see you. See you. So we have uh, Shaisha's uh, CT scans with us. So the plan for today is if you can see on the upper part of her brow bone there is a reflection of light that is because this brow bone is very very prominent. 
so when we do a type 3 for her i am going to cut this frontal bone along this dotted line all the way till the base of her nose and then it's going to be set back so that this prominence will be reduced now it doesn't stop only with the forehead bone the brow bone is also going to be shaved off so the excess part of the brow bone even this excess part is going to be trimmed off so the effect is to give a nice smooth forehead there won't be any reflection of light after the surgery and plus we combine it with rest of the procedures uh, for the lower part of her face you can see in the side view see this reflection how big the frontal sinus is this entire frontal sinus going all the way till here is going to be treated with a type 3 and we also shave the brow bone at the same time that is the plan for Shaisha today Any last words that you'd like to give out to your audience, to your community, to your friends, to us? I mean, I, I think one of the most important reasons, like I told you, for me to talk about this was to, to get this unwanted stigma of plastic surgeries. So many of us get it for whatever reasons. Now, I obviously am taking them because I need to feminize my face. I have no option. There's only this much that hormones can do. Beyond that, you need to depend on, on plastic surgery. And um, I want everyone to not judge people when they take plastic surgeries. Because like I said, your insecurities only you know. And as you have a pain, you eat a bowl. If you have any insecurity, if you get a treatment, then why should you not take it? Thank you so much for talking to us, Sasha. My pleasure. Thank you. Uto?